Three months ago, Zoe was fitted with a wheelchair to use on long journeys. Today, it's arrived at her house. Zoe's excited about her new piece of equipment. Well, I think it's lovely. Zoe was born with a condition called arthrogryposis that makes her arms and feet turn inwards. When she was two years old, Zoe had several operations to reposition her feet and stretch her tendons. This was followed by months in plaster casts and intense physiotherapy. You've got to get this to activate these. So we end up on the wheelchair. Then you're home. Zoe's dad left Anne Marie just before Zoe's third birthday. Anne Marie continued the hard work on her own. I am really, really proud of her for, for the progress that she has made in walking. Shelby is just happy to be at home with her family. She was born with a rare chromosome condition, partial trisomy 9p and is seriously mentally and physically disabled. Shelby spent all of her life in and out of hospital. William's condition is life limiting. When William was born, everything appeared to be fine. But then he started to have epileptic fits. At five months, he was diagnosed with a genetic condition, tuberous sclerosis, or TS. Two years old, William had major brain surgery, but his seizures escalated and his behaviour continued to deteriorate. <laughs> Hamish McLean and his best friend Fraser are making the most of their last day of the summer holiday. They're the same age, but Hamish is a lot shorter than his friend because he has achondroplasia, commonly known as dwarfism. Nathan Christie has a starring role in this year's Down Syndrome Association calendar. Nathan's parents, Tracy and Richard, only realised he had Down Syndrome two weeks after he was born. They were devastated by the news. I'm Shelby has a very limited life expectancy. Doctors have warned she could die at any time. What is his future? 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 What is his future?